The confidence interval gives us a interval of feasible values his improvement in five star ratings could be. Now, since this entire confidence interval is positive, in other words, zero is not contained in the interval, we have statistically convincing evidence that its proportion of five star ratings has improved since implementing the have a good day strategy. Unfortunately, the representative cannot say the have a great day strategy is causing the increase in the proportion of five star ratings. The reason is this is not a randomized comparative experiment. The strategy was not randomly assigned to customers. A better way to do this would have been to flip a coin before talking to each customer and sometimes implement the have a great day strategy and sometimes not. Then you could compare those two proportions and perhaps conclude about causation. But with the way he did it, a possible lurking variable is experience. Perhaps the representative got better at interacting with customers over time, and this is confounding with the have a great day strategy. One advantage to reducing the confidence is a more precise interval. So here's the output from our 98% confidence interval. Let's change it to a 95% confidence interval and see what happens. If we press stat and we go to test and go to two prop Z interval, here's our data from problem 83. And I'm gonna change it to a 95% confidence interval. All right, that pulled in our confidence interval by about 4% on each end. So it's a little bit more precise. So reducing confidence gives us a more precise interval. Confidence intervals are related to two-sided significance tests. So another advantage is if we decrease our confidence, we're more likely to detect if the representative's five-star rating proportions increased. That's related to increased power of a significance test and decreased probability of a type two error. But lowering our confidence has disadvantages too. The main one is we'll be less confident in the estimate our interval provides, which in the significance test equivalent would be an increased probability of a type one error, which would be us concluding he did improve his five star ratings when he in fact did not. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.